What's up growers, it's Shane here with Grow Ace, and today we've got another video for you guys on ceramic metal halides, otherwise known as light emitting ceramics. These are the latest and greatest up and coming lights in the indoor horticulture community. Well regarded for their full spectrum and low heat in comparison to HPS. With such buzz, many companies are starting to hop on board and manufacture their own bulbs. Today we're gonna to take a look at some of the different CMH bulbs on the market and compare the safety of their packaging, their PAR output, and their price. All right, growers, so the bulbs we're gonna be looking at are the Hilux Grow 3K uh, by Ushio, Master Green Power by Philips, the 31K by Yield Labs, the 3K by Protopia, iPowers 31K, and lastly, we ordered a bulb from Vivo Sun, and this showed up. It's got their tape and it's wrapped in some packaging, but the box looks nothing like the box online. In fact, I don't think this is even a Vivo Sun bulb. All it says is 315 watt CDM. I don't know. We'll roll with it and see how it stands up. So, uh, thanks, Vivo Sun. Uh, let's continue on. Okay, growers, let's take a look at the packaging of each bulb. Let's start with Philips since they developed the first commercial CMH bulb back in 1994. All right, so here we have our Philips bulb. Um, it's in a nice tight little box. And inside we have some cardboard. And it looks like the bulb is in this. And basically you just pop these little two boop, boop. It's two little boops, boop, boop and the bulb is in here. To be honest, it's not the safest um, packaging for a bulb. Not a fan of the style. Um, you know, easily this can be crushed. Like, what is this really protecting? Not much. Um, it could be rattled around inside. Um, the bulb looks like it's kind of covered in a lot of dust and lint, as this doesn't really protect it from that. Um, and it does have a little bit of a rattle. So that's Philips. Okay, next let's take a look at Protopia. So their packaging is all white. It's kind of a bigger box than the Philips. I kind of like this one. It's got their spectrum on the back, but the safety is what's important. Let's take a look inside. Nice. So they package with styrofoam on the inside. Very nice. And there's the bulb nicely tucked away on the inside. I like the packaging like this because it's shake absorbent. Something happens, you know, it's gonna protect it. It's got strong cardboard. The bulb is just well protected in here. So basically you open it, pull out the styrofoam cover, your bulb's in right there, and there you go. Um, their bulb's got a little bit of a rattle. It's got a little bit of dust on it, but for the most part, it's nice and clean. So that is Protopia's packaging. All right, next let's look at Hilux Grows 3K packaging. Um, not too bad, it's blue packaging. They've got their uh, spectrum on the back with some suggested use notes on the side, but let's take a look on the inside, which is most important. Okay and they go with the plastic casing, which is uh, not too bad, better than the cardboard in my opinion. So, um, you know, it's nice and tight and concealed in here. Um, nothing's gonna get in there. It holds it properly inside the box. It doesn't offer as much protection as, you know, um, the styrofoam, but definitely much more than the uh, cardboard. And so basically to get inside, you have your plastic covering right here. And you just pop that open like that, and there you go. Life's like a box of chocolates. Uh, their bulb does rattle a little bit, but there you go. All right, next we have the Vivo Sun, not so Vivo Sun bulb. Uh, let's see what this comes in. Yeah, as I suspected, this is another cardboard packaging, not the safest. You know, you go boop, boop and the bulbs in there. This is actually the top end, so I'm not gonna grab it without gloves, but there it is right there. More cardboard packaging. 
All right, next up is Yield Labs. Yield Labs is going to be, they have plastic packaging. So again, not the best, but definitely not cardboard. Um, the bulb looks safe in there, it's secure, which keeps it safe and secure in the box. Nice and clean, nothing's gonna get to it. No uh, dust or anything. If something leaks on the box, it's not gonna get into this. That's actually one of the better benefits of plastic. Not bad. All right, and now we have iPower's box. By the looks of it, it is going to be styrofoam again. Very nice, like we've had before. Take off your styrofoam lid, the bulb is right in there. It's nicely tucked away, safe and secure. This is my favorite packaging. I don't see any issues happening with it. It's safe, secure, nothing's gonna get to that bulb. All right, so that's our packaging. All right guys, now that we've looked at our packaging, let's give these a rating. Uh, a three tier system, let's say bronze, silver, gold. Bronze is obviously gonna go to the cardboard. I'm not a big fan of the cardboard. It opens lots of opportunity for your bulbs to get crushed. Uh, leaves lots of residue and particles on the bulb. And it's ultimately just not the safest way of packaging your bulb. So we have the Philips and the Vivo Sun both come in cardboard. We're gonna rate those in the bronze position. I'm actually a little surprised Philips being the bigger company, the bigger name that they package in this way still, uh, when there's other ways of doing things. All right, second place, silver packaging is gonna go to the plastic packaging, which was Yield Lab and Ushio. Um, these are better than the cardboard. They're gonna keep your bulbs a little cleaner and slightly safer than the cardboard. Uh, they hold well inside the box because of the way they're angled, and ultimately it's just better than cardboard. Uh, so yeah, that's second place. All right, in first place, the gold is gonna go to Protopia and iPower for their packaging in the nice box surrounded by styrofoam. Um, it's perfect for packaging a bulb. It keeps your bulb safe and secure. It can hold it through a little rattle, shaking and rolling. Um, it keeps it clean, and most importantly, it keeps your bulb safe, absorbing a lot of impact. All right, now that we know how safely we can expect these bulbs to show up at our doorsteps, let's take a look at their PAR output. After allowing each bulb to heat up for 30 minutes, we used our PAR meter to gather our data. We'd like to establish that we're measuring PAR over lumens as it traces the amount of usable lights by plants. These are the results. With much surprise, Ushio was one of the lower placing PARs. It had an average of 146.8. And to much surprise, Yolab was the top PAR over Ushio and Philips with an average of 185.1. As any conscious buyer knows, it's always gonna come down to price. Let's take a look. The Philips bulb being the most expensive at $126.63. This is followed up by Ushio at $75. The rest of the bulbs, including iPower, Vivo Suns, Not So Vivo Sun, Protopia, and Yield Lab, all hang out around $49 and some change. With that being said, in conjunction with a nice par average and decent packaging, I'd go with the Yield Lab bulb. I'd follow that up with the Protopia bulb, which has really nice packaging, a decent average, and again, around 49 bucks. Well, that's all we have for you today, growers. We hope you enjoyed this video on ceramic metal halide bulbs. And as always, like and subscribe so we can get you guys more content in the future. Thanks for watching. I'm Shane with Growace, and we'll catch you guys next time.